Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. And there's Porter. I'm gonna show you a bunch of cars that, let's we'll see if they're gonna do it when I'm recording. They tend to drive on the wrong side of the road. You see how these cars are lined up right here? That's the, that's the correct spot where they should be at, right there. Now, occasionally you find cars that drive on the wrong side of the road. I'm not sure if they can't see the, um, if they can't see it, or they just don't know they're on the wrong side of the road. But um, we keep an eye out for this. Let's see what we see here. There's, there's quite a few cars that were just driving right over the uh, double solid line. Let's see what happens now that I'm recording. See if they will do it or if they won't do it. Now it is supposed to be double lane traffic. So those cars that are parked to the to my left um, there right. Those cars shouldn't be parked there. So those cars, that, those three cars that are parked, um, they, they're actually in the uh, travel lane. Now you get another vehicle that just did the same thing. So they're, they're actually parking in the uh, travel lane. See how many cars that actually go over the actual line there. Naturally, now that I'm, this one here is doing it. Look at this, he's on the wrong side of the road. Almost going against oncoming traffic, look at this. Another one about to do it. So I don't know if it's, if it's a poor design or if the street's not well lit or well marked. But um, for some reason, quite a few cars end up on the wrong side of the road here. And I've seen so many near accidents and a couple that just got in their vehicle was saying the same thing so that would prompt me to get out here and start recording. And I don't know, it's kind of a, uh, it's a dangerous switchover because when you're over there, on the other side of the street, you are in a double lane that runs right into this thing here. So it doesn't clearly tell you you have to switch over a whole lane. So if the car next to you doesn't switch over, it's kind of forcing you to be in the um, outside lane. See how, when that light turns green over there, to see how those cars um, switch over. Uh, and these cars have to kind of switch over too. So, so I think that yellow line's in the wrong spot when it comes off right there. It needs to be moved over a little bit to give them enough time to switch in. I could be wrong, but it, you see how these cars, tra they, they kind of transferring over. So they kind of forced to go into one lane at the very last minute. These trucks on the wrong side of the road right here. Oh, the whole, he's all the way on the wrong side of the road. Look at that. He's driving the whole stretch, wrong side of the road. Now, that's what happened before. It almost caused a head-on collision. You know, it's many cars are doing that. And er earlier, just before I got out here, there's a couple that was crossing the street and a car almost hit him because they, he was on the wrong side of the road. So to give you guys a little bit of footage of uh, driving behavior. This is by the Hemingway Street and I believe the other side is Boylston. So Hemingway, Ipswich, and Boylston.
Almost an accident right there. Cabs on the wrong side of the road. Just the one caller. He had one single shot outside of Adams and Everett Street. That's about a minute ago. Did not see the, the traffic is else. horrible over here. It did not like a it's, 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 it's bound to be an accident over here sooner or later the way these cars are driving. And it doesn't help that behind me there's a construction site that's taking up half the road. I'm going to turn around so you can see the construction site that's um, impeding half the road over here. So when I turn around, take a look at the, uh, the amount of the road that's being impeded here. It's a good, it's a good amount of the road considering the curbs right there. And that's, that's at least two lanes of traffic or maybe three lanes. Depends how you look at it. This guy's on the wrong side of the road. 45, 45, horrible. Look at that, wrong side of the road all the way down. It's going to cause an accident. Cars are doing this all over. Like, they, they've been doing it all day. Driving on the wrong side of the road. If you hang back from this distance here, you can get more footage of the... Uh, let me back up a little bit so you can see what I'm talking about. The further you back up, about right... Right about here is where you can get the, the most footage of that. From the start, like those cars that are on the outside lane over there, they, they don't even have an advantage point to switch over.
This car has some like off-road um, fog lights hanging from the bottom of his um, vehicle, which kind of makes visibility not greatest for the drivers are coming towards him. I'm just going to give you a little, little bit more footage of this. So I want to show you that the line is not that visible. You can see it, but it's not as clearly marked as it could be or should be. At nighttime, it's probably even harder to see because of the low light that we have in the city of Boston. What else do we have? Um, right over here, Hemingway and Boylston Street. And I guess that's Ipswich up there. Alright guys, I figure I'll show you a little uh, little bit of cars just driving on the wrong side of the road. Nothing major, but could turn into something major if it, it hit somebody. All right, guys, I'm gonna head up out of here. Just want to show you a little activity in the city. Cars that are sometimes they probably don't even know they're on the wrong side of the road, to be honest with you. Because the way it's, it's set up, it's if you're not from this area and you haven't seen this road, it's, it's tricky. It's 
Look at this guy right here. He's way in the wrong side of the road. Oh, he's going to the wrong side. I guess they can't help it. I guess I figure I'll show you a little bit what's going on. Not a whole lot, but so if you're in this area, just be careful because that double lane over there does turn to allegedly a double lane over here, but it's a single lane because all these cars are parked in the lane so that you can't do a double lane. Theoretically, no car should be parked on the right hand side there. This guy has one fog light in the front of the vehicle. Which is not a legal lighting system for your vehicle. All right, guys, I'm headed up out of here. I think I showed you enough of the crazy streets over here. Just, you know, you gotta be careful because these these cars won't pay attention and. You're relying on you to pay attention. Alright guys, catch you on the next one.